All right, hello everyone, hello and welcome to Wolf Quest 3, where we are getting ready for the beginning of Generation 4 of the Dawn Moon Pack. And this time, my friends, we are here with one very unlucky young wolf, Lark. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're actually going to be working with him. And just like with Rosetta, it was actually a extremely difficult decision to choose who to play as. And I ended up picking Lark because just like Rosetta, after I finished Generation 3, I gave myself a little bit of time to kind of sleep on it and think about who I wanted to become the heir. And I, at first, ended up picking Clover. So I did end up picking Clover as the heir to the point where we actually had official artwork made of Clover that you can see here if I remember to put it into the video. Uh, and if you can't see it here, don't worry because the adorable artwork of Clover is available over on our store. So our official little merchandise store through Teespring that you can see from our main channel and everything. You can find her sticker, which is so cute and just waiting for some of you to take it home to give yourself your own little bits of luck uh, with the adorable wolf clover um but i did end up picking lark because just like with rosetta i ended up dreaming about our unlucky boy lark i mean look at this little survivor he has encountered so much in his life he was stepped on by a bison he got so sick multiple times an eagle tried to eat him then changed its mind and ended up deciding to protect lark of all things and kind of being adopted into the family which was more than a little bit ridiculous <laughs> and now we have ended up here and Amethyst Mountain, where our luckless little Lark is going to try to find a way to make his own way in the world. And for those of you guys who don't know Lark's lifetime challenge, his challenge is actually his clumsiness. So, you know, he really kind of struggled to not get killed by everything as a pup, and he has a very clumsy nature. So whenever we play as him, we roll a dice to see what he is too clumsy to catch that day. And when we try to find a mate we're going to be rolling a dice to go ahead and see uh if he's so clumsy that he trips over his own paws and ends up like spooking the mate away or making them roll their eyes and decide i'm absolutely not going to be picking him as my mate uh and that's going to be quite the challenge so picking a mate is going to be tricky because he does have a chance of being clumsy enough when i roll the dice that he actually ends up chasing her away instead and then like i said every day we will have a new challenge with him because he will be too clumsy to catch a certain type of animal and already lark's luck is vastly different than that of his cousin rosetta's rosetta in case you missed it yesterday definitely go back and watch because rosetta actually ended up finishing all of her hunting for her lifetime quest or excuse me for her like actual quest she hunted two cow elk in one day like just was done just showed up here in like amethyst mountain stuck her nose in the air smelled some elk chased him down met some wolves killed two cow elk turned around and found herself surrounded by a huge bevy of potential like dispersal mills as you guys will see tomorrow all in the same day meanwhile lark i rolled to see what animal he's too clumsy to catch today and it is legitimately cow elk so if we stumble on like a, a elk calf, if we stumble on a bull elk, we can try to take them out. But unfortunately today, Lark is so nervous about beginning his adventure that he is too clumsy to complete his quest of killing two elk if that those elk happen to be cow elk. So, um, wow, already, already proving to be very, very different than his sister. And apparently there's some female dispersal wolves down here. Maybe we'll head their way just to see what they're up to. There's apparently an elk herd down here too. So poor clumsy lark. This is going to give us a lot of variability and change in his day-to-day -day life as his clumsiness makes it so maybe some days he cannot hunt rabbits. And that might be a huge challenge if like we can't hunt rabbits, we can't hunt beavers, we can't hunt uh, whatever's the most abundant like mule deer. And so we're not able to like feed his babies. That could be a big deal. I'm really hoping we can find a strong and healthy mate of some kind to end up being his mate. But we're gonna have to see. 
But yes, guys, I love Clover. She had beautiful coloring. I really, really was curious to see like where her story would take us. Like I said, I, I did actually pick her originally, but it was Lark and his just his ability to survive against the odds. Oh, what's this? Junction Butte territory. Okay. I think, you know, Lark's a little nervous about that. He tries to be, you know, he's aware he's super clumsy. So he really tries to stay out of trouble, but trouble always seems to find him. And that's why I just ended up having to pick him. But don't worry, I already went ahead. What was this? What? Oh, this is the elk herd. But there's like two or three footprints. And they're going this way? Really? Wait. Oh, look, there's more footprints. Oh, good job, Lark. Good job. We didn't find these footprints earlier. Gosh, he really is kind of clumsy. Maybe tripping over his own paws is actually useful for him. But yes, I, I apologize if you guys were like really wanting Clover. I put her up for download so you can already go ahead. Oh, hey, female dispersal wolves are chasing those elk. Maybe we'll get lucky and be able to like eat some that's left over from their hunt. Or maybe we can find a weakened like elk calf or maybe a bull elk by chance and be able to eat it. We'll have to see. Oh boy, here we go. Getting a little closer to the action, I think. It looks like the, yeah, it looks like the wolves were still chasing them this direction an hour ago. So yes, I totally understand if you're disappointed and you're like, I really, really, really wanted Clover. But don't worry guys, you can download Clover. I put her and all of the other generation three wolves up for adoption. You can check out the video description and you will be able to find the adoption links and the Google document that I created for you guys, specifically so that we don't have to be sad about like your guys' favorite wolf not being chosen. All right, meanwhile, this place is lit up like a Christmas tree. Can I find something to hunt over here? Okay. Come on, maybe we'll get really lucky. I'm really, 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 really hoping. Oh, there's the, the crowd. I see the clouds in the distance. Maybe we'll find an elk calf. Come on, elk calf, come on. And those eight mile females have a lot of endurance. They're still chasing. All right, there they go, there they go. Oh man, what are we getting into? There's so many different elks. All right, we're chasing, we're chasing. Okay, do we see it? There's the eight mile females. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, so we don't have a very good match with one of them. Let's see, do we see any elk calves? There's one female, there's two female. I think they're, they're both two star female matches. So Lark's gonna be a little nervous and try to avoid spending a ton of time with them, but I think there might be an elk calf or two in this herd. So we might spend a little bit of extra time wiggling through. Like, not here, but I think, right there, I think there's an elk calf. Not that one, but the one she's guarding. There, that one. All right, all right, if that's an elk calf, we can hunt them. We just can't hunt elk cows, or like cow elk today. It's an elk calf, yes! Oh my gosh, Lurk, you might be lucky after all. He's just kind of following the, the like hunt that the females began, but they might take like a bit of an offense to that and decide that they actually want to go ahead and finish off the elk calf themselves. Watch out, Lark, watch out. He is such a clumsy guy. Okay, we're gonna just keep an eye on this elk calf for a minute. Try to lope after him. Come on, buddy. If we can really get you going. All right, let's not lose this target. Darn, mom is like right there with us, but come on, a little more speed. Oh dear, there's a big bull elk. All right, this is not a weak calf and this is not a weak mom. And she's really mad about this, but if we can maybe slow them down and separate them from the rest of the herd. Good job, Lark. Oh, I bet he's learned how to be very patient because he's so clumsy. We can hunt the elk calves today. If we could please get this one, I would feel so good. All right, let's back up a little. Hopefully we won't be so unlucky as to have some other wolves come in and try to chase or kill away. Let's get a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more stamina. Come on, buddy, you can do it. All right, watch out for the mom. Oof. 
All right, she's a little too close for comfort, so we're going to give her a bit more space. But I think he's going to be able to do it, you guys, as long as we don't end up getting chased because we're in another wolf's territory. Okay, there we go. Good, 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 good. All right, we'll land a couple good blows. Get out of here before mom lands some blows. Wow, you know, I wonder if being so clumsy has actually helped Lark to kind of work on being super patient and a pretty good hunter. Ooh, this little guy is trying to defend himself. I admire the resilience, little friend. Wee! And your mother is definitely doing her best. However, I think Lark might be, like, a coward is not the right word. I think he might definitely try to protect himself and choose wisely from what battles he'll take on and which ones he's going to try to avoid. All right, there we go. Mom is still right there, though. Yep, we got kicked. Okay. We'll back up a little and wait. Wait for mom to get a little bit further away. That's a very good mother cow elk. She's definitely kind of slowed down to try to keep beside her, her young one. However, however, we're not going to give up. Lark can be very patient. There, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. He is very patient. I really admire that about him. All right. And now that the mother's gotten ahead. Nope, she's right there. Why are you so good at being an elk mom? Okay, move, Lark, move. And I actually wonder if his clumsiness has taught him how to be somewhat graceful, which would be a big boon. All right, the mother's gotten mixed up. This little guy is absolutely fighting for his life. There's the mom. Come on. We're no longer in another wolf's territory. Come on. Ah, oh, he was willing to take a few kicks for that too. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We've almost got dinner. He just needs like one more bite. I admire your, your struggle, little guy. I'm gonna be honest, this little one is fighting for his life and I am extremely impressed with his resilience and his determination to live. However, it's not gonna be enough. And there we go. And I think he wouldn't really howl like a lot of our wolves do after a big kill like that. Not a lot of fanfare. He's just gonna go ahead, pretty worn out. He's gonna try to grab what he can fill himself up. This is a big elk calf. And you know what? I, I feel like one of the potential lifetime plus we might give his mate might have something to do with birds. I'm not exactly sure like what we're going to do with birds, um, but I wonder if he would feel a bit of an affinity for birds since Lark was indeed like watched over by an eagle for a good majority of his life. And there we go, friends. So he's a little tired. He's going to need to catch his breath. He is our little lark. There are a couple eight mile females still running around that he didn't really seem to click with. But I think even with the, the handicap of not being able to hunt any cow elk, he did really good today. We managed to find at least one elk to count towards his quest. I'm really proud of him. Good job, lark. I think you've got a lot more going on for you than I thought at first glance. So all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me as Lark goes ahead and settles into his somewhat luckless and clumsy adventures. I know my heart was definitely with Clover too, and I hope many of you guys will enjoy playing with her as well. But I just, I was dreaming about this guy and I just wanted to bring him into our lives. So here he is. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could leave a like for Lark, if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.